Hey Spartans, for this week's special report, we have a sit-down talk with Mr. Kaminsky about his recently published play. Thank you, Mr. Kaminsky, for being us for being with us here today. Um, I want to start off. Thank you for off, having me. I want to start off by asking you, what is your play called, and what is it about? My play is called The Destination. It is a full-length horror play. It's about a group of strangers who, in the midst of a blizzard, seek refuge in a secluded motel, unaware that the motel proprietor and a mysterious stranger are going to make them part of a deadly game. What inspired you to write the play? Well, one of the characters who was in this play, I had written a 10-minute play where he was featured in it. And that play, it was featured on a few podcasts, featured in multiple festivals, high school students and college students have performed it. And it was well received. I thought that there was more potential with this character. And I got the idea to include him in a full length play. Interesting. Um, what was the process of writing it and publishing your play? Well, I wrote the play, I would say, on and off for about two years. During that time, I did get a commission to write a uh, full-length historical drama play. So I took a break of about six months from the horror play. And uh, during that time, it really helped. Uh, stepping aside from it for a bit, I was able to uh, figure out what was working, what wasn't, get some new ideas for it in the meantime. So uh, given the play is about three strangers, I try to make each stranger uh, have their own story, their own arc. So it's just the process of figuring out exactly how to uh, incorporate all those stories, sync them all up together, and give all the characters satisfying arcs. What was the most difficult part of creating the play? I would definitely say the uh, three separate stories. At times it almost seemed like uh, three different plays given that uh, all these characters have their own stories, their own background. When it comes to uh, writing, you don't want to give too much exposition. You don't want to give the audience too much information right from the get-go. So learning how to sprinkle that information throughout and then connecting all the stories into one satisfying overall story in the end. Have you written any other plays? I have, yes. I've written uh, quite a few 10-minute uh, plays. It kind of seems that that's like the future of uh, theater right now for new playwrights. There are a lot of 10-minute uh, festivals. In fact, a 10-minute uh, Western play I wrote that is having a, a festival production in Los Angeles right now. So I've written quite a few 10-minute plays. I've also written some uh, one acts, which are a bit longer than 10 minutes. And I've written about uh, half a dozen and full-length plays, and The Destination is a, a full-length play. Interesting. Do you have a favorite play that you've written? Uh, I guess it depends on my mood. Some are thrillers. Uh, I do have the historical drama play. This is a horror one. So I guess it's what I'm in the mood for, but I, I am quite proud of The Destination. So as a writer and also an English teacher, um, what parts of the writing a play aligns with your English teacher? Well, I currently uh, teach junior English, and uh, two of the works of literature that we studied are The Crucible and Othello, which those are two plays. So a lot of the themes that are present in those plays and uh, other plays I like, I kind of see them trickling into my own work. Themes about love, friendship, betrayal, relationships. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Twists and Turns. Uh, of the unexpected and crime as well. So I'm very blessed and fortunate that a lot of the curriculum kind of lines up what I'm personally interested in. And as, as teachers, if we are interested definitely in a, uh, the material that we have to present, that's always a plus because then we get to have fun and that allows our students to have some fun as well. That's awesome. And lastly, do you have any future plans to writing, uh, writing any more plays? Yeah, absolutely. I'm currently in the uh, middle of writing a first draft of another full length. This is going to be a thriller. It's actually going to take place in a school featuring a student and a teacher. And I figured, no, know a bit about working in a school. So looking forward to seeing how that one comes along and where that one goes. How did you get into teaching? 
Well, uh, I originally, when I got out of uh, college, I did major as a playwright at uh, Fairleigh Dickinson. So I had a strong love for creative writing, love for reading as well. I worked for a market research company. It was a part-time job. I did that for a while. I wrote some articles for them. I managed their social media. But I kind of felt like something was missing, and then I uh, started doing subbing, and I really fell in love with being in the classroom, of uh, giving my love for writing, for reading to the next generation. I decided to uh, go back to school, as it happened that aligned with the pandemic. So that was a bit interesting, going back to school, student teaching, it was virtual. Some students were in person. We remember all those guidelines, all of that. But uh, got through student teaching, applied for uh, Immaculata, and this is my second year here, and really love it. Thank you for being with us today, and I look forward to reading your play in the future. Thank you very much for having me. It was a great talk. Thank you so much for watching the Spartan News Network. Please support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram. All links are in the description. See you next time, Spartans. <laughs> <laughs>